It's probably just my connection. There, I just sent the um, email. email to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you, 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 you feel comfortable that you got them. You don't have to wait. Um, okay. Because it was like yesterday when the sun shone really well. And you have to picture the street both ways. So. All right. Yeah, I'll send them right now. Yeah, I feel good. Um, okay. All right, yeah, uh, awesome. I'll send them to you. Okay, sounds good, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Hey guys, what's up? I'm deciding to record myself on my first assistant job as real estate. So I am working for a lady. Her name's Diana. She actually has a YouTube channel as well, so make sure you guys go and check her out. Um, she's a real estate agent in the area of Mesa and areas. Anyway, so I work for her now. I'm her assistant. So this is my first day out on the job right now. And let me tell you, well, not like my first day, but like practically, she's, this is the first time that she has sent me out to go and do something for her and that is to take pictures of this house trying to get these sent to her for some reason my phone wants to literally be a pain and not send the pictures i think it's my connection and where i'm parked at it's probably definitely where i'm parked at the connection in here this little area i don't know why my phone just doesn't want to go through i was like i don't think i'm in the right area like I think I'm in the completely wrong area and then I was like you know I'm just gonna get out of my car and find the unit cuz it's like so it's like yeah you get to the address but then it's a gated community so you got to type in a code and then you got to find the address and then take pictures of it so then I was like oh no like I'm so lost I was like hopefully there's no like crazy stranger people here that want to connect me. Anyway, so now I'm just waiting to send the pictures to Diana. So it's like, woo And then I'm all good to go from there. There's nothing more that she needs is just those pictures. And, but she's like, if you already feel really confident that you have them, then just leave and go home. I'm not gonna leave here until those pictures are sent to her, just in case. Anyway, I was gonna say, the reason why I was having such a bear, um, an issue with taking pictures of the house was because the picture of the house on this paper doesn't look the same as the house out here. It looks completely different. It looks like really small. It's like a small little like house in between between two other houses. I don't know. It's a cute little house. It looks like a starter house for somebody young. I don't know <laughs> anybody really actually but anyway it's just a small little house like look it's literally like that in between like so there's that house and then there's a house in between and then there's another house so it's like there's a house right in between two houses and it's like super small and then there's like some lady outside on her phone and she's like hey like who are you and I'm like I'm just here to take pictures like <laughs> it's like, oh no, like, I hope I'm not, like, interfering with anything, but, yeah. Okay, my internet being so dumb, but anyway, guys, I'm just gonna get home now, so peace out. Hey, everyone. Hey, dears. Hey beautiful people, I want to say thank you to everybody who has been supporting my YouTube channel, subscribing, watching, and staying engaged with my content. I'm so blessed for that and um, I've been trying to find like side jobs like online or like selling stuff but none of that stuff has worked out too well for me. I don't know why I just don't, I'm not fit for the whole um, online business stuff like I don't really know like how that stuff even works like I know there's like little websites like clickbait kind of little websites that you could do to make like said cash but where I'm not of age it's a little hard to do that I mean I'm sure I could find an online job if I really wanted to but honestly I don't really 
feel like any of the online jobs, to be honest. I'm not really into them. I'm kind of a more hands-on type of girl. I don't know like why I don't have much views on them. That's definitely an issue that I've been trying to work on is getting more views, more subscribers on my YouTube channel. I've watched so many videos of other YouTubers out there, how they have so many subscribers and so many views. Anyway, YouTube was supposed to be my like extra income. I'm really just not quite sure when I'm gonna just blow up on here and start getting tons of views and tons of subscribers and I'm just waiting for that day for when that does happen to me because I know that someday that I will maybe it isn't this year maybe it's next year definitely just stay confident one of my videos will be really just successful if I have to end up making another channel then I probably will probably be on my journey throughout my job to be honest because this is a pretty big step for me in a lot of ways I never have I ever worked for just somebody under their wing and done into like that and this is what I've been wanting to do for like my whole life I've been wanting to become a real estate agent flip houses and learn the industry so this is a really big 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 step for me. in a lot of ways so I'm just really excited to see like where I go, where this takes me in life. This is just the step of knowing a little more about the industry and how it works more. Every day I know I'm learning something new. So I just want to get my story out there to other people and other young ladies know, even if boys as well, always know that you're never alone and there are people just like you, just like me, going through the same stuff. We all go through different scenarios in our life. Oh my gosh, this virus that hit us, it's been crazy because it took a big toll on me because I just moved here to make the Arizona and completely new to me and I have no clue about anything here because it's so big and I'm not used to traffic it's all the people it's like you see new people every single day and it's like oh my gosh like who am I gonna meet today or like what am I gonna embark on what a new adventure am I gonna do like go on today you know like you know like there are so many opportunities here and just stuff like that so it was just like a really big eye opener for me moving here so weird so weird like i just uh so i need to like talk to you guys about something right now when i first started my youtube channel ain't gonna lie i felt really really awkward and just super weird like i had no idea how to act or to talk or what to do froze a little under pressure because i was like oh my gosh like hurry record a video edit it and then upload it not even double check the video this is good enough you just edit it like 10 20 30 minutes you did a good job now upload it and i'm like oh my gosh like then looking back over it that video was terrible but i'm so glad that i finally have just flown down I'm taking the procedures that i should to do my videos to edit them well and to make good content for you guys good lighting Good editing, good attitude, good character. Obviously, nobody wants to watch somebody who's like a robot or like really boring. Obviously, nobody wants to watch anybody who's boring. Like, get something going on that's really interesting. Besides, like, obviously, I don't know if you guys want to listen to me talk, but obviously, I probably have something interesting to talk about, and I probably have some really good advice on overall, like your future super good at like being a guide for people so like i've had some life experience i've been through some stuff in my life other people can reflect off the back as well and be like oh like hey she's like she's already done this before and she knows a lot about it as a child growing up i definitely want a better life for myself i have a really good perspective on like where you should be when you're turning 18 like when you're 18 years old it's such a different ball game as long as you know you're being responsible um being respectful following the rules i've always lived by mottos i don't know about you guys i always try to live by a motto and my motto is to do and not say 
yeah, I kind of stuck by that. And also, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. And what I mean by this, you reap by what you sow, is that the things that you say, the things that you think inside your head, the things that you do, those are all um, projecting and reflecting on you. And they are going to reflect on your future. So, remember the next time that you are thinking about something, but you're like, oh, like, why am I feeding into this thought? I actually really don't, like, like, I don't want, like, you know, like, want to live that at all. And so, you got to think about that thought and be like, okay, like, backtrack, backtrack. I need to be thinking about who I really want to be, who I, what my persona is going to be to the world. Because obviously, you want your persona to be, to the world needs to be beautiful. You need something authentic, responsible to project these things out into the world. If that's who you want to be, then you project that. If you want to be a role model for somebody, then you project that. A fitness trainer, then you project that. So like that means like eating healthy, being healthy, like doing all those things. You want to be, you want to be like glamorous and live in like a really glam life. Well then, you better act like it, think like it, and do the things that the glamorous people do. Just like me, I want to be a real estate agent. You know, dress proper, keep it business oriented. And that's another thing that I kind of wanted to touch up on with you guys is keep your life private from your work life because you don't want your private life getting mixed into your work life because then that can cause a lot of tension and it can be uncomfortable. And you don't want to break that uncomfortableness with you and your boss. You just don't want it to get uncomfortable and awkward. Don't bring your relationship into your work at all. I'm just saying keep religion, politics, and your relationship life out of your work. You are what you project out there. What you think, what you do is all a reaction of who you are. What you put out there into the world will come straight back at you. I want my personality to shine the most. I don't want it to be dull and dull. So I definitely always try to keep a happy persona for other people around me. And also remember, if you play small, you stay small. So if you want bigger and better things in your life, then you have to learn to play the game big. Like you have to start thinking big and bigger and better. And if you want better jobs, better things in your life, but then you have to start knowing that you deserve these things. If you reap what you sow, like I said, you want to remember that what you are sowing, that you are reaping. You want to do it in the right way. You don't want to end up making the wrong choices. You know what could happen to you as well. Like I was going to say, like there could be like some stranger that was planning to kidnap you. Actually, maybe not planning to kidnap you, but maybe you were somewhere at the wrong time, the wrong place, and something bad happened. Yeah, those are just always things to be aware of. So even if you weren't actually maybe planning not to party, you were just planning to go out and go somewhere, you just never know. Wrong time, wrong place. So it's just always important to stay low key, stay safe, whatever, whenever, wherever you are, always try to stay safe. I'm actually, actually considering getting pepper spray. Ha ha ha, like, I know this is kinda, like, shocking to everybody, but I don't really think it's actually too shocking. I actually think it's actually a really good idea. Not saying that some person is gonna run up on me and attack me. Like I said, wrong place, wrong time. Some person could get crazy and be like, Hey, like, um, I'm kidnapping, but I'd be like, no, you're not. And then I get my pepper spray out and um, protect myself and spray them in the face. Then probably call 911 and be like, oh, like, hey, like, some stranger in this area tried to attack me. Hopefully nothing like that happens. Like I said, don't feed into that because try to lead your mind into safe, glorious places. Well, glorious means clean, clean places. 
that's a big word that I've been studying for like a minute now. Whoa, I've talked about a lot. Just wanted to also tell you guys, I bought a snake plant about three weeks ago. I bought this. I like literally love my snake plant. I bought it for four dollars and like I'm so happy because it is the best investment that I ever made because snake plants not only do they produce really clean oxygen for you, they enlighten your mood all around. It's just nice to be in my room with a plant um, sitting next to me. And it's also taking out bad air, so it actually purifies the air. And we have like really disgusting air out here because obviously like uh, gas pollutes the air and then everything else that goes along with how they produce gas and oil and then it just all makes sense and then the air is polluted and everything else. Yeah, we have like really bad air quality um, where I live. I always try to keep a plant around me to get that air nice and clean and I'm breathing in clean, fresh air to keep that brain healthy. Uh, if you guys don't have a plant, you guys should definitely get a plant in your house. Get a couple of plants. Also, a plant sometimes can get super stressed out when moving it from an environment to your environment. And sometimes like the leaves will start to die and fall off. You're like, oh no, like my plant's dying. Like, oh, like I just wasted four dollars, but like who cares about the four dollars? Like my plant's dying. Like, oh my gosh. Like, we were supposed to grow together, like, oh my gosh, no. But, um, no, it's actually, no, your plant's not dying if you just bought it and then it's, like, a suddenly dying. Just know that your plant's really not dying. It's actually going through environmental changes. The plant just has to get used to its new surroundings. I have to actually cut off all the leaves off my snake plant. And my snake plant doesn't contain a lot of water. You just have to give it a, like water like when the soil is dry. So whenever the soil gets dry, you just water it a little bit. Um, they don't take a lot of water. They're really low maintenance, but super excellent plant. But yeah, right now it's like this big. Um, I guess I'll show you guys. It's this big. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's not very big, as you can tell. He's a little green. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm trying my best to keep him alive. What's been going on, obviously, like directly today, updating you guys on what's going up and if I have like good advice to share with you guys or if I have like a good direction to point anybody out there who needs like some good. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I had to talk to you guys about was was what was going on today but yeah uh, i love you guys make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel comment down below if you guys have any questions for me i'll answer your questions au revoir and merci beaucoup that's in french adios muchos gracias Mwah. first train on the plane we were flying to the mountain all across the ocean and there we go again walking in the streets lost in new places a million new faces diving deeper in the world riding on the road into the unknown all on our own until we settle down Oh, 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 oh,